Live in the newsroom, Brantley, understandably, many folks watching right now are quite nervous. And Mike, that's understandable, but I can tell you, based on what the advisor told me, the election will have little negative effect and actually help the market. With the election around the corner, some are concerned that investing in the stock market could be a bad idea. One thought is that one candidate will be better for the market than the other. However, financial advisors say something different. Over the last 50 years, the three months before elections, no matter who won, the average or who was running, the average was about a 1.4% gain in the three months before and actually a 4% gain in the three months following the election. Hall suggests people to continue investing the way they need to regardless of the election outcome, focusing on individual goals that will help them in the long run instead of how the election or even the pandemic will momentarily affect the market and trying to time the market is not a good idea. That's where you can really get in trouble with what you're doing. Because what we see right now is you may be asking the question, well, if this person wins, I don't want my money in the market. But you look at many years of experience in the market and you see it's not a straight line up, but over a 50, 60, 70 years of the market, you do see increases going across the board. With the recent rise in COVID cases, stocks have slid, but Hall says not looking at the short term and getting caught up in emotions is important. If we look at the longer term and focus on our goals and uh, what we're trying to achieve over the long haul, that's where you will make great decisions over time. And Mark told me that staying in the market during tough times and following your portfolio will lead to it paying off in the end. Brantley, thank you very much.